Hey guys, Cassie TV here with another Path of Exile video, and this one is a very quick video where I'm going to talk about how to summon Spectres in Path of Exile. It's a very common question I've been receiving several times over, so to help you guys out, here's the video for it. So in game, I have the Race Spectre skill gem. I don't have any Spectres summoned. And how do they work and how do you actually get them summoned? Now, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. And the first thing is that we have a thing called a Desecrate. Now, Desecrate allows us to generate corpses. And then these corpses can then be summoned with the approach of um, your race specters by targeting the corpse. So first things first, how do you then target the corpses? You can hold down the A key or go to settings and go to game. And on the corpse targeting, you can change this into always enabled which means that you can always target a corpse if you have a corpse targeting ability, such as an offering skill, uh, like bone offering or flesh offering, or in this case, we have race specters and race zombies. This allows me to target the corpses, and at the very top of the screen up here, you can see the name of the actual minion. The specters that we're using for the pure specter build is right now the current state of the 3.21 league, the Forge Frostbearers. So these are the ones I want to summon. So I can now summon with my current build five race specters. This means that my last five specters summoned will be the last, the, the five last corpses that my Desecrate can generate. That is why you can see things like Forge Vendigos. You can see things like uh, Thor Tukuhama Van. No, that's not mine. Someone else was in here with it. And these things are actually saved on my Desecrate based on the last summon specters I did. So if you die, your specters die for some reason, you're able to resummon them by using Desecrate again. Now, two things with this. So your last summon specters up to the maximum amount of specters that you can summon is the corpses that your Desecrate is saving on your character. Also, any monsters or specters that have existed in the area will also be available to be spawned as a corpse with Desecrate. So if someone comes into my hideout and have, say, a Primal Crush Claw, that way, uh, what would happen in that situation is that those corpses would then exist in my uh, in my hideout. So I'm going to ask Helmbreaker to come into my hideouts, and you'll see that his specters, without him summoning them, by just existing in my area, now that he is, I will be able to summon uh, Pale Seraphim. I didn't have that before. And then we have... Let's see if we can find him. Uh, we have a Carnage Chieftain. I see that. Uh, he has a Pale Seraphim, and he has Primal Cross Claws. So let's see if we can... Fine, there it is. Primal Crush Claw right there. Thanks, Helmbreaker, for showing up. So by him just existing in the area allows me to now summon those corpses in my hideout. This is how the, my own global channel in game 6666 works. So if you're looking for specters that you do not have, such as the Forge Frostbears, which is found through a Crucible encounter, you can pick them up by coming to my global channel by simply typing slash global 666 and then coming in here and asking for them. Then you go to whoever invites you to their, to their hideouts and use your Desecrate to summon them. Another quick thing to think about is that when you do remove Spell Echo, because that will echo the resummoning of your Spectres as well. So now we're going to summon them by putting up a corpse like this, and let's see if I can find Forged Frostbearers for this specific build. I saw one right there, and then I click once on my Summon Spectre, or Ray Spectre. I saw another one, I think. Uh, right there. Ah, there we go. I got two. And then we'll take another one, and there was nothing there. And there's one there. Now we have three specters, four specters, and let's see if we can find our fifth one. There. There we go. Now I have my five specters, and what I'll do now to make sure I don't accidentally screw these over is to remove them from my action bar because they're already subbed and flip a coin for good fortune. And that's it. That's that's literally how you do it. It's very straightforward and very simple. But the game doesn't really tell you or how to do this in an effective way. So I hope this video helped you out. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button on your way out. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, stay safe. Keep rocking.